All right, my dudes, we are going to get you set up with uh, Git cloning repositories into your uh, machine so that you can download repositories, so you can change them, you can repackage them, you can create new stuff. A lot of times, some of these installations, you have to download the actual uh, repository. Now, remembering, I've told you before that um, you don't always want to download the repository, but sometimes you do. So we're going to get you going. First thing we want to do is get to our uh, browser and just type git, okay, and then download. Now I'm going to show you there's a few um, things going on here that you can end up getting caught up with. So a lot of different pages. What we're going to do, uh, well, let's see, we're going to click this downloads. This is the one we actually want, okay? Um, and we'll pick our version. It's going to be very easy. Okay, we just pick the um, the installer that you want. So I'm going to end up picking the 64-bit Windows setup. Obviously, you have these portable ones. That's kind of nice if uh, you want to put it on a flash drive. You got to be somewhere that um, you know on other machines you can use it. Of course, that means you have to type in the fully qualified. Uh, path every time but let me show you some of the pitfalls we want to avoid this um, if we type uh, github download okay it's going to take us to this page and we can get into here and like oh maybe this is the one I need and you click it and you get the installations okay while this isn't a bad um, while this isn't a bad thing it's um, it's not what we need this actually creates a um, an application that uh, handles everything for it, it creates a, a user interface a um, what do they call that like a platform so um, or an environment we don't need this it's too much it's not a bad thing I certainly wouldn't mind using it but the truth is that uh, I don't need it okay because I just want to get my stuff done fast so what I do is I go ahead and click on the 64 bit you're going to go ahead and download that okay obviously when it gets done you have this uh, button over here you know you can just click on where it downloaded and then click it there and it'll run okay for you it'll go ahead and install now what you're gonna find oops I just lost my page there what you're gonna find is um, once you restart your terminal you'll be able to use the git command okay and uh, that pops up so this of course then later you get your repositories uh, from from github you, you know a lot of times it's just the the web page so you just type git clone and then whatever the web page is and it's going to download it into the directory so if i'm in the e directory and i'm downloading something uh, you know called rope then it's going to create a folder called rope in the e drive if i create a directory called uh, you know temp and then i go into the temp directory and i git clone it it's going to create the rope directory that's inside the temp directory so this is going to get you going this is really important stuff um, what it does is it creates a spot in your uh, path environments so that you can use it from anywhere okay get this installed should take you like less than five minutes to get going and you are going to be golden you're going to use this all the time so all right stay good if you have questions let me know and uh, i'll catch you on the other side of the flip